don't buy a scope mount for your Ruger 1022 until you watch this video. This is the Line Mount Pro 22R 30 millimeter scope mount for the Ruger 1022. These are very high quality scope mounts that drop right onto a standard 1022 uh, receiver. As you can see here, here is what it looks like uh, when it's not mounted. First, some background about the 1022 and scope mounting. When they designed the 1022 in the early 1960s, it was a very different era for American firearms manufacturing. At that time, optics weren't considered to be that important for 22 rifles. The intention was that you were going to use iron sights. Almost all the time, scopes were a bit of an afterthought. Scopes intended for small caliber rifles like these were also fairly low quality and were on average a lot smaller and more, more expensive in real terms than they are today. In fact, the 1022 design makes it somewhat awkward and cumbersome to mount a large scope on it, a large so, such, as, such as this. The top of the receiver, as you can see in here, is, is contoured, it's curved, it's not flat uh, in its own uh, unique way. And so that's a problem. The threads of the screws are six by 48, which is a, a tiny and kind of old school firearm screw size. Uh, by the way, good luck finding those screws at Home Depot. The most common method of attaching a scope onto the top of a 1022 is to take uh, the factory scope mount as shown here, or rail as shown here, and then drop it right onto those uh, and screw it into the top there on the top of this, uh, the top of the receiver. Um, there's several different type versions of this. This is from the Ruger factory. I would not recommend it. Uh, using this particular method, it does not give you a whole lot of options. Uh, another version of this is uh, also drops onto the top here and uh, aligns with the screws and then you screw that into the top of the receiver. And this version gives you a little more options in terms of the location of your scope and uh, how much eye relief you're going to give yourself. When a scope is mounted in this manner, it introduces all sorts of additional parts and screws and the differences in the tolerances between the uh, this particular part and the top of the receiver, and then so between the receiver and the rail, and then the rail and the scope rings. Scope rings, as you can see with the Pro 22R, you just have one piece that mounts directly onto the top of the 1022 receiver. Um, also, when you use the rails, you're going to have a harder time getting comfortable eye relief on larger scopes. So since you're you're limited on how much further forward you can put the mount. And this mount keeps it simple. So if the Ruger 1022 was designed today, it would probably look something like this, where you actually have a Picatinny rail integrated into the top of the receiver. So this particular receiver was manufactured by Brownells. The patent for the Ruger 1022 has expired a long time ago. It was designed in the early 1960s. So uh, other manufacturers can actually get into that business. And you can see here the difference between the top of this standard factory 1022 as it's been manufactured since the early 1960s and this 1022, which was uh, recently, much more recently designed and manufactured, which you have the rail right in there. As mentioned, the quality and power of scopes has increased a lot in the last 60 years while the prices have come down. So it's now way easier to get a very nice large 30 millimeter scope for not that much money in order to mount a 30 millimeter scope that you can comfortably use and still use it on a 1022 which has a relatively short length of pull you need to you need to do something that'll shift the scope forward a little bit and that's and as you can see here this is actually cantilevered out um, over the top of the barrel um, in order to provide a little bit more eye relief uh, when you need it and also so shouldering it and firing it as it makes it a lot more comfortable. Larger scopes generally have larger bills, so the Pro 22R is also raised uh, just slightly, and you can use scopes that have a bell of up to 65 millimeters in diameter. That's two and a half inches, and this includes use on a bull barrel. This, this scope um, will actually work on a bull barreled uh, Ruger 1022. Anyway, the Pro 22R is a great option for Ruger 1022 fans who want to mount a large, high quality 30mm scope such as this one. Thank you for watching.